nobody gets anywhere, everyone's cutting each other's throat and stuff like that. It's, it's tragic. Yeah, I mean, this is my first contact with the... Uh, with, the with the scene, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to get into it and move around a bit and then you see this is crazy, mm -hmm. you know. And you get this whole drug culture, okay, fine. Yeah, I, I'm observed that also. Yeah. Fine, but you get guys who smoke up and spend 45 minutes laughing at nothing. I mean, that's amazing, right? I, I don't get it. I don't get it too. So, that kind of thing happens. A very kind of low level of interaction goes on. I believe this, they have, this becomes a distraction. Any kind of distraction is disrespect to one's own consciousness. You know, you know, because distraction means that I'm not comfortable with my consciousness. That's the point, yes. So, I don't subscribe to this, but at a personal level. And it comes a lot of indecisiveness and a lot of indiscipline. Mm. That's a good word. You see, they are, even what they want to do, they are unable to do. Because to do anything, you have to have a certain measure of uh, discipline. That's what we have process. You have to think it out. Yes. Okay, this is how I go. Yes. And you have to go that way. That they are unable to do completely. I mean, as far as, like, for example, uh, Rudra as a band, we are disciplined to the core. You have to do it. We that have to do it. Open, it's going. time to sleep, we sleep. Sure. Very important. Yes, it's, it's very important because if not, you cannot, you cannot sustain this. And this is, is something that you, you see, every art form is worth is worthy of reverence. You, know, you have to have some kind so of reverence to, to it. Read it like that. You have to yes. relate to it like that. Yes. You, see you must look at it with reverence. Anything that you do, anything that I do, even if I sit here, I'm talking to you, I must have the reverence to the respect and the individual. Don't have such reverence, then don't do don't it. Don't do it because uh, anything that, that is devoid of reverence will be devoid of quality. Sure. So that is and maybe you're not supposed to do it then if you don't feel reverent about it. Yeah, because it's, it's conformity, like what you said. It's all about conformity. Then. Yeah, it's a lot to do with conformity. Yes. You know? It's a hell of a lot to do with it. Just want to conform. It was the same even 30 years ago, mm. when, when we had the rock crowd coming in here. Mm. There was a lot of imitation, you know, a lot of conformity and stuff like that. I don't think we have a single classical rock band here which seriously made it. Mm. Although there were so many guys into the music. See, it's always been like this. It's been like that. Mm. And I think it's also partly because of the socio-cultural grouping from which this thing comes. Mm. It comes from this kind of middle class yeah. crowd. They are not very consistent in what they do. Mm. I mean, I can, imagine, I can remember 30 years ago, the whole hippie movement, the whole counterculture was here. There's none of those guys in the counterculture anywhere near it now. I mean, they're all regular guys in the, in the dominant, you know, dualistic paradigm, doing regular work, you know, and thinking back and reminiscing about what they were, and not even talking about what they have become. Okay. It's so <laughs> crazy, you know. That's so interesting. <laughs> because, the, because the dualistic views will suck you in if you don't know how to handle it, because that is a dominant. That's it, it's dominant. Yes. Dominant perception. So Absolutely. easily in Sakyu. That's why you the have. The whole to... structure is here to make you see it that way. Exactly. So you don't have much of a chance. Yes. Unless you work so on it. In, uh, in the analysis, we'll say the moment you see an object apart from you, do a little dual Finish. Exactly. So you can't see objects. Yes, exactly. So so that is so tricky because you, 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 have to, you have to recognize it in a way that it sits well with your perception. I, I, I always um, share this in the gym. It is not non-duality despite duality. It is non-duality in spite of duality. So there are two different things. Yes. If you think you're going to remove the dual, dualistic world to see non-duality, you'll never happen. Then you're looking for magic. Yes. But if you see non-duality in spite of duality, that, that's fine. practical. That's, yes. <coughs> and the magic is also very strong. It's a very strong thing. Mm. Like if you look at the West, and if you look at the Osho movement, for instance, mm. where oh. hundreds of people flock into this thing, nothing comes out of it. Exactly. This, this is where I give a lot of importance to pedagogy because the method of teaching is as important as the teaching itself. Because this is where Osho went terribly wrong. Yeah. But I respect Osho. Yeah, I also do. I mean, he did a good job of work, fine. But Osho's, Osho's understanding is excellent. Yes, yes. But the pedagogy, the pedagogy is where I feel that he went ter terribly wrong. You see, that's why you cannot create another generation of Advaitic people. Because that's where the pedagogy, because this is my own experience as a teacher for many years. You see, the pedagogy is not right. People cannot carry that. 
and that's what happened. He created Rajneesh Puram in uh, in uh, in US, and thousands of people started to follow him. But people ended up following him. Yeah, that's the that's problem. another important point. Advaita is not about following. Exactly. Advaita is about about, being, is about seeing. Yes, about seeing from you where you are, where you are. So this pedagogy. So this is where I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time um, using the pedagogy such that the person doesn't follow. But you see from where you stand, where you are sitting, you see. It is not something that is available elsewhere. It's not something that's available in another time. Yeah, you can't go get it yes. from somewhere. It is available right here, right now. So if that is so, then what is the thing that, that creates the, 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 this disaster that we see among famous teachers? is a lack of a proper pedagogy. This is where I spent a lot of time trying to find the pedagogy. And I really, I spent, I was actually went teacher to teacher to teacher to teacher, you know, after one another to look for this pedagogy. And finally, I managed to find this very beautiful technique. There are many techniques uh, uh, used. I use a particular technique called Adhyaro Papava. It's, a, it's, a, it's called a, a negation of superimpositions. This technique that we use. Um, so using this technique, you, you, you make a person not a follower. You see, this is very important because non duality cannot be followed. Cannot be followed. Cannot be followed. And this is what every other teacher ended up creating in the West. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, they created followers. I'm a leader in my own right. I'm a, I'm a self-driven, motivated person. So this is what I see that in your, in, I see that your, as being your desire. This is what we have lost in this non duality It still happens in, in India. You see, a lot of teachers, yeah, yeah, yeah. they create followers, they create disciples. Followers and disciples should be the, the last words in Advaita. Yeah, definitely. In, in Sanskrit, they call it the Bandur, nas, na Guru, na Shishya. Yeah, no Guru. No Guru, no disciples. No Shishya, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham. I am of the nature of that consciousness, and that Shivaha, auspicious I am. I have no Guru, I have no teacher, I have no disciple, I have no one. Because why? Everything only postulates a second reality. And I cannot even say that I have a religion because that too is dualistic. So, 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 this pedagogy is what I, I, I discovered that the way of um, the communicating this has a great um, influence on the person's uh, drishti, the way they see. So, this is something that um, I like because if not, we, I end up getting followers and I see the danger. That is a very dangerous thing. Yeah. You see? This whole bhakti movement, uh, I am very uncomfortable with you know. I wrote a song about bhakti <laughs> in the new album. It's called, I, it's called Sinister Devotion. Pretty much Sinister Devotion, that's what it is. There's yes. a name I, 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 I use. I said that in bhakti, there's a, there's a bhakta and a bhagavan. Both dangerous people. Both dangerous. <laughs> Both dangerous people. What have you, what, what you got to do? Resolve it into one. There is only one. There is no division between the two. So I took a jab at all the Vedic traditions. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. That, that also subscribe to duality in the new era. Because seriously, if you look at religion, it's causing a hell of a lot of problems. 